I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Do you need my assistance? Don't be ridiculous. I'm capable of dealing with this myself. I've just not taken the time to do so. Then you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. Consider it a gesture of solidarity between professionals. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. We do not see you in surgery very often. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Do you need my medical attention, dear colleague? I would have been confused if anyone other than you had asked that question, Dr. Reed. But your help is welcomed. There is no shame in helping each other. We're colleagues, after all. Many doctors I have known are too cynical to think that way. Did you know Dr. Aykroyd never reported your experimental research, despite the fact he doesn't agree with it? Really? I didn't suspect he knew about my work. I must confess I am surprised. Perhaps he thinks you should realize for yourself the danger of what you're doing. See how condescending he can be? My god, he can be so irritating. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. I will not let you down, my boy. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. Oh, sweet girl. Treat me like a book. I'll never forgive anyone. Hello again, Mr. Blight. Good evening, Dr. Reed. You're doing your rounds as usual. Do you need medical attention, sir? Afraid so. In the war, I was always worried about picking up something, getting some infection. Unfortunately, I've got that fear in London now. Throughout history, some diseases have done more damage to armies than any weapon created by man. You are wise to be careful. You're working at the Pembroke Hospital, aren't you? That's a good enough reason for me and Oswald to go there. Are you concerned about the living conditions in the city? Of course I am. I'll be stuck here for as long as Oswald refuses to go to hospital. And, unfortunately, it seems the violence is rising. What kind of violence? I believe people have armed themselves and started to attack those that show signs of contagion.
Oswald. I'm sorry to leave you alone. Avenge me, my love. but no less dangerous. Good evening. Evening, Dr. Reed. Are you concerned about the conditions here in London? Not really. Sick people, men in arms, fighting every night. I already faced all this during the war. Oswald, tell me about what happened when you were buried in that tunnel with Newton. It was more than dark. It was... Black as pitch. Hours seemed like days, and days like months. But the terror, the shameful thoughts. Lord have mercy. What you endured was terrifying. It would have completely destroyed weaker men. It did not destroy Newton. Shameful thoughts. Tell me about them. At some point, I don't remember which day, when I thought we'd never be rescued. This would be our end. I thought, I thought about, I thought about. <laughs> say it, Mr. Thatcher. If you ever want to heal, you have to say it. I thought about what I could do to survive, just for a few more days. I thought about killing you, killing and eating him. The man I fucking love. Serene and beautiful. 